Hello, and welcome to Norton From Home. I'm Ellen Roberts, Harold and Ann Berkeley-Smith Curator of American Art at the Norton. And today I'm going to share with you some highlights from our collection of works by the American Impressionist Mary Cassatt. Mary Cassatt is particularly important in the history of American Impressionism because although she grew up in the, in the United States, she spent the bulk of her career in Europe and a great deal of time in Paris. And there she became the only American to show with French Impressionists like Edgar Degas and Claude Monet in their independence exhibitions in the 1870s and 1880s. At the Norton, we did not have any cassettes in the time of our founder, Ralph Norton, uh, because Ralph Norton was really focused on the art of his time, which was the first half of the 20th century. But since his time, uh, through both generous gifts and strategic purchases, we have accumulated seven works by this important artist. The Norton's cassettes are all on paper, so the unfortunate thing about that is that they cannot be on view in our galleries all the time because they're so light sensitive. However, uh, the great thing about that is that cause some of Cassatt's greatest works are on paper, and that's because they really showcase what a great draftsperson she was. You can really see that if you look at the drawing of Louise, for example. Uh, here you can see just with graphite on paper, just with simple pencil strokes, Cassatt gives you a real sense of this individual being of this little girl, this individual person. Uh, even more impressive are her pastels. Uh, we have her pastel portrait of Helen Sears. And you may notice that in this work, which is actually typical of Cassatt portraits in both pastel and oil, Cassatt uses a very different handling for the background, the hat, and the clothing than she does for the face. The hat and the clothing and the background are, are quite freely rendered. And in fact, at certain points, they become almost abstract. Whereas the, the face is quite uh, meticulously rendered. And again, this is to give you a real sense of her personality, of this individual person. To me, she almost seems as if she's about to step out of the paper. The Norton also has two prints from the important series of prints that Cassatt did in response to her visit in 1890 to the Japanese Ukiyo-e print exhibition at the Ecole des Beaux-Arts in Paris. Uh, there, Cassatt was particularly inspired and admired uh, works by Japanese print designers like Kitagawa Utamaro, the late 18th to early 19th century designer, who used uh, bold patterns and inventive, pat and inventive compositions uh, in their works. And these really kind of called attention to the surface of their pictures, to the fact that they are uh, individual works of art in their own right rather than realistic views of the world. There are new things. Uh, as a modernist, this is something that Cassatt really wanted to uh, explore in her own work. And so she determined to do her own series of prints in this mode. Uh, instead of using woodblock printing, though, as the Japanese did, she used two uh, Western modes of printing, aquatint and dry point, combining them in order to get a similar effect. And you can really see that if you look at her print, The Letter, The Impression in the Norton's Collection, in which you can see how she too is using repetitive pattern throughout the surface of the print in order to call attention to the flatness of the work of art and the fact that it is a work of art in its own right and not a realistic window on the world. Uh, Cassatt was also particularly drawn to Utamaro's prints because he, like her, uh, typically uh, or often depicted uh, the everyday activities of women. In Cassatt's case, she was really forced into this uh, choice of subject matter by her identity as a woman. Uh, she was not free as a well-bred woman to circulate in the public sphere in the way that her male contemporaries like Edgar Degas could. So you don't see her depicting the modern city in the way that Edgar Degas does, for example. Uh, instead, she uh, had to focus on her own world, which was the domestic world, basically, uh, the world of women and children. What the Norton's Cassatts demonstrate is that she depicted this subject matter with a mastery that few have ever surpassed. Thank you.